Hello everyone! Welcome to Tech to Tinker YouTube channel where technology is explored and shared. And today I'm going to show you the continuation of my previous project which is a web music player using Arduino. And today I am able to or successfully able to sync somehow the lyrics with the web layer so let's get started now I am going to uh, reset the button so that we can see in the serial port the actual available uh, files for WAB and lyrics files available in the SD card uploaded here so after pressing the reset uh, found three WAB files and found three lyrics files and set up done so when we press select button or play it should play the current selected web file so it is 10,000 reasons by Matt Redman We can see here in our serial monitor the actual lyrics being played in sync with the web layer but it's not exactly uh, sync because I am, I am not able to adjust the time uh, from the LRC files I found in the internet with the web files I also found in the internet so somehow it's playing as you can see So, pressing the next button, plays the next song. Okay. The next song is You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban. As you can see here in the serial monitor, the actual song. Playing the next song, it is God Will Make A Way by Don Moen. By the way, we can also play the previous song. Which is, You Raise Me Up. We can also pause a song by playing the select or play or pause button. And also the lyrics is being paused. We can play again. So 
So I think that's all for the demonstration. And now I would like to show you. Ah, by the way, I can also volume down. Oh, it's already in one. Volume up. Volume up. Volume up. So I'm ready in four. I just set uh, a volume level from one to four only. Limits. Volume down. So for the walkthrough to our source code. I am using a timer PCM library and an SD path library and SPI for the accessing the SD. We also use the liquid crystal library for the LCD. I disabled the infrared because it's not functioning properly. It seems like the timer PCM is conflicting with the IR remote library. So these are the definitions for the pin assignment. Uh, my proto trading definitions for multitasking, but it's not multitasking, it's called multi trading or proto trading for accessing that for checking the keypad for playing the music etc uh, these are the definitions for global variables some prototypes here for the setup Initialize the serial monitor with the baud rate of 9600 baud's initialization for the LCD for the timer PCM so that we can output the sound to the speaker initialization of the SD card setting the volume of our timer PCM we get the WAV files and the lyric file, lyrics files and also some other some other initializations. We have the loop which basically using the milis function to jump to other functions on different times. We have check IR which is currently uh, disabled. We have here the play lyrics function which basically uh, syncing the lyrics with the WAV files being played. So it is checking if the WAV is currently playing the wab is not in pause and also the lyrics we are reading is not in the end of time so when all is uh, achieved we go inside checking uh, parsing the different times so we get the minutes of course we check first this one we convert the minutes to integer because this is in uh, ASCII character. We also get the seconds after the colon, same as the above. We convert it to uh, integer. So 
we also read the decimal point and these are the decimal floating points after the seconds but we do not use it for simplicity so basically the minutes is multiplied to 60 to convert it to seconds and the seconds is added to the minutes and multiplied to 1000 to, con uh, to convert the time to milliseconds because we are using millis or milliseconds we also check the end of the time I don't know if I have copied the lyrics here we open because as you can see the time begins with this bracket this is minutes this is seconds and these are the decimal point of the seconds and this is the end of uh, end marker of the time for the LRC files if we found this end marker we activate the plug is lyrics line now to true then if the elapsed time since the beginning of uh, playing of the web files is less than to the lyrics time which we read here this is the lyrics time what we do we save the current uh, position of the file then we go out of the loop else else more than the more than or equal to the lyrics time the current elapsed time we display the lyrics so do while not in the end of line so here we read and we check by the way i add an asterisk at the end of the lyrics as you can see here this is the end end of file i use end of file marker that i use also if i detected the asterisk as end of file is lyrics end of file become true then we break from the do while loop then we display then we exit after let's say after we do here since we pause the audio here we pause again here to start playing again so the pausing and playing is happening because if we disable if we remove this uh, audio that pause function uh, our code will become malfunctioning will malfunction so we also close the file that we read we update the LCD this is basically to update the uh, the play pause display in the LCD in the play music with this we check the play next button or play previews or play now when we play uh, when we press the select button these are activated so in the play next we are basically checking the current position of the uh, of the wab being played if it is less than the wab count we go back to zero 
else we add we increase same as in the play previous here we are checking if the audio is currently playing by the way this audio that is playing is returning always one even the uh, even the music is in pause so i added an, an additional plug which is is pause to be able to detect the pause uh, status during pause time we do not activate uh, if it's not pause and the audio is playing we measure the elapsed time by subtracting the elapsed uh, pause from the start time of course from the millis the current time else if the audio is not playing we disable the audio play next pause play now this is to play the next song after the currently playing after the current wab play play after <laughs> the current wab is finished this play now this is activated when we press the select button so first play now disable pulse if audio is playing of course this is to detect if we are in the pause if audio is not playing so we start the playing we open we get the file by reading the index of the current uh, position of the wav we open we get the name then we put it as the file name for the audio that play and so on volume up volume down checking the keyboard uh, sorry checking the keypad which is the the five function which is select left up down and right these are the get uh, for getting the web files and these are for getting the lrc files which is happened only once during the startup or boot up which is here in the setup here so that's all folks i hope you enjoy this little demonstration and somehow it can help others so if you enjoyed this video please kindly support my youtube channel by subscribing leave your comments and suggestions in the comment box thank you and have a good day happy tinkering Oh, it's now 
Nova. <laughs> Starts it. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.